Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 11. Today is day number 23 and I'm starting with a sketch by Dana Terry. Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 11. Today is day number 23. Today's sketch was created by Dana Terry with designs by Dana and it is a two photo sketch and as you can see it is a grid type layout. Uh, with the four, uh, four embellishment photo cluster grid, if you will. And so that's kind of how I went at it, was from that standpoint. And so today is also uh, through the rainbow where I'm using a wood grain. So I pulled in a piece of an older piece of basic gray paper called Life of the Party, and it is a lighter and darker wood grain paper and so I use that as the mat for my grid and so that is where I'm starting out. So I put uh, my photos down, my embellishment clusters down and I pull the um, mats for my photos from my scrap bin and then I just pull a random assortment of embellishments to use and I will show you those here in just a second. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry about the glitch in not doing a video like I normally do, but somehow or other I lost the footage from the first half of the video, but thankfully I still have the, um, the rest, the second half. Okay, friends, I am done with layout number 23, and this is everything that I have left. Well, yeah, these are all the scraps that I have left because, uh, yeah, this is all, I had to pull a piece of cardstock for my stash to uh, be able to create this layout because all I have left in all the different collections that I have pulled together for this month, this is, this is all the different paper scraps that I have. So this is the only thing that I have left. I may be using some of this in my 6x6 series or 6x6 project that I'm doing this year. So we'll see. Or Mad for Minis even. Anywho, let me show you the papers that I used on the background. I told you already there's a bunch of scraps, but I do have some scraps of the scraps. Right? So here's what I have left over. I used a die to cut out that shape from my... Uh, background paper because I wanted to be able to use almost the entire thing uh, and I used a couple a piece or two of that and then this paper is from basic gray called life of the party and one side had a wood grain one side had a brownish black color but this one with the wood grain had all these celebration sayings on it you can see the wood grain I think more in the lighter shades on camera but the background uh, as well has a wood grain wood grain texture to it and then the lighter words and so I use this as a base for my photo my photos so I used this black alphabet to create my title. Uh, finishing bits were uh, some puffy stickers and some enamel dots. And I also used, um, sorry, this scallop was what I cut out that other shape from. And I used multiple things out of my bin of supplies in here. I, I used a piece of wood veneer. I used a flare. I used a couple other things from in here. So, let me move this and I will show you the layout. Let me grab up my alphabets and my die. And here is the layout that I created. I'm super happy with how this turned out. I didn't know necessarily if the colors that I was choosing were going to work. But because of all the multicolors in this paper, it kind of pulled it all together. That was my... Uh, jump off point if you will for color on this and there's not a whole lot of color there's a little bit of blue I had a little bit of that watercolor paper left over so I punched a scallop circle out of that and put it behind the wood veneer bird that I or composite uh, chipboard I guess you would call it um, bird I painted uh, so that went on top there and then uh, a flare. I have wood veneer hearts. That is a die cut piece that I just popped up some on, on some adhesive. And then this ampersand was a die. Uh, there's my title, Family Fun. There's a Brad from uh, all the different stuff that I added in. I have a little bit of everything on here. Ooh, and there's three puffy stars over here. I couldn't help myself. I just had to put them there. 
But anywho, I will have close-ups of this layout at the end of the video, so if you're interested in seeing those, stick around for that. You can see the two colors. One is a striped, and then the other is that um, salmon-y pink color. Uh, anywho, so that's what I have behind the photos. And I did them both the same, except for I cut this one smaller, so I guess maybe a backwards L shape I don't know maybe a grid shape almost um, I don't know, know necessarily what you would call this one but um, the type of layout it is anyway anywho so I have one more layout tomorrow before I start into my uh, counterfeit kit challenge kit for this month so I'm gonna see if I can pull anything else out of that scrap bin to create another layout with tomorrow. Anyway guys, if you haven't already, you can head over to Christy's Beautiful Life Facebook page. She will be posting the sketches every day and anybody who up uploads their photo to that day's sketch, you have all the opportunity to see all those photos and be inspired by all of them. Anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.